My class, can you see me? Yes, teacher. All right. Wow, I think Onoko Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Pero algún día voy a saber cómo es la voz de ella. <laughs> Hey, look at my fingers. Do you see my fingers? Hello. Hello, me escuchan. Like a robot. Yes. Okay, like a robot. I can hear you like a robot, but I don't know if, that, if the problem is my connection, right? Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Cesar. Class, can you hear me good? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. yes. Oh. Okay. All right. Do you so see my... Maybe, maybe it was a little better right now. Do you see my fingers? Yes. yes. Can you do this? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is something it's difficult. Look. Well. Ah. <laughs> look at my finger. Oh. <laughs> ah. Uh. <laughs> Good evening. Hello, how are you? Uh, Hi. I'm okay. What about you, teacher? I'm all right, too. Okay, it's Thank fine. Thank you. Cool. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Hold on, give me one second, please. Is Yancy eating something? <laughs> Hola, teacher. Hi, Yancy. What are you Ahorita eating? No. Eh, no. Eh, Ahorita voy para mi casa. Por, okay. Por no... Okay, okay, okay. No problem. Be careful. So remember yesterday class, we were practicing ask. What is ask? Preguntar, pedir. Preguntar y pedir. Okay. And we have tell, what is tell? Decir. Decir, all right, good. Tell me, listen. Do you want to know a secret? Do you promise not to tell? Whoa, whoa. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Cell phone etiquette. I, yeah, etiquette. What do you do in a situation like this? 
you're eating dinner with your friends at a nice restaurant. You're having a great time when the phone rings at the table next to you. A man takes out his phone and starts talking loudly about problems he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for almost 10 minutes. This happens all the time on buses, restaurants, everywhere, correct? Many people find cell phones useful in their day-to-day -day lives, but we've all sat next to someone talking too loudly on a cell phone. You may want to tell the loud mouth to end the conversation, but let the management take care of noisy customers. You can only control your own behavior. Here are a few rules. Do you have questions? I don't, I don't know the word loud mouth. Loud mouth, bocón. Loud mouth. Pero no bocón porque habla mucho, sino porque habla fuerte. Loud mouth. Okay, veo a Jovito y a Lisette se están moviendo bien. Muévanse. Okay, entonces no creo que mi internet. Guzmán se me frizó. Yeah. I don't know if my internet too, but, but it's like a freeze. Okay, no, but maybe it's everybody's internet in this moment. It's up and down, up and down. Um, okay, Guzmán, you worked in a call center, right? Yeah. Yes or no? There's always siempre hay uno que, hi, thank you for calling. And they're very loud. And you're like, dude, shut up, man. That they speak very loud. No? Peter, I really apologize, but. but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I got, I got the, 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 last, the last word, but okay. I got the idea. Okay, yeah. In a call center, there's always a person that speaks very, very loud. Que grita. Hi, thank you for calling. My name That's is David. True. How can I? And you say, hey, dude, shut up. Yo me puedo ir. Okay, here hey, are girl, some. You have kids? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Off means off. Respect rules of a restaurant and other public places. If a sign says, turn off the cell phone, don't use a cell phone. Sure. I have a very bad connection. So I, I turn off my camera because it is more fluid when I have. Uh, I understand. Okay, thank you. Camera. Okay, thank okay, you for okay. telling me, Cesar. Thank you. Okay, next. Keep. Private conversations, private. Speak softly for a short time. Try to move away from other people. Lights off, phone off. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. As more people use cell phones, things only going to get worse. So the next time you're getting ready to make a call, stop and consider people around you. Because do you see a banner um, the funerary has? It's like, a, um, it's a, you can go ahead and drive and use your cell phone. You're gonna you're gonna be my customer. Yes, I seen that. It's it's nice. Yeah, that's nice. It's cool. It's nice. It's true. It's completely true. Knowledge check. 
Lea los siguientes mensajes, escoge la mejor opción. Could you tell me, could you tell Joel the movie is at seven? Could you tell Joel that is the movie at seven? Which one's correct? Okay. Yes, Number two, would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four or would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? The second one. Would you ask the second? The first. The second teacher. The second. I don't see the difference. Oh, pick uh, me, up. Is pick me up. Yeah, yeah. the second one. Pick me up and pick up me. Yeah. Thank you. Number three, please tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled. Please tell Eva the concert on Saturday canceled is. The first. The first one, the first yes. One. Number four, ask her would. Would you ask Jim to bring the tickets for hockey, for the hockey game tonight? Would you ask Jim bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight? Um, first. The first one. Would you tell Anne the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning? Would you tell Anne that the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning? One. First. Let's see, submit. I don't know why number one is wrong. Would you tell Joe that is the movie at seven? It's not correct. Yeah. I think there is a mistake. Yeah, there's a mistake. All right, let's see the next. So reading this, check the statements the writer would probably agree with. You should never use a cell phone in public. You think that's correct? No. No, teacher. Okay. So, no, I don't check. Do I check this or no? No. Cell phone, cell phone users are very rude people. No. no. Turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to. Yeah. Uh, I think depends. I think that depends. I'm not going to turn off my cell phone if somebody asks me to. Maybe I, I, if I, I have, if I am in I my work, a, yes. Yeah, I have a different role. I gonna. I think that I have an idea for my parents' restaurant. If you turn off the the cell phone for everybody in the um with your friend or your family, you're gonna receive something for free. In your restaurant? Yeah. But you have to to turn off your phone in your family too. Okay, you wanna receive, for example, um, I don't know, uh, fish fries or yeah. But why? Why do you want people? Like why do you want people to turn off their phone in the in your restaurant? 
the the idea is um, the normally nowadays uh, everybody has in the phone instead of um, speaking with somebody else. Oh, okay. And it's supposed that to be relaxed in different place. So yes. my idea is if you turn off your phone, you're going to receive a... Um, uh, okay, good. Something, something different. Yo he visto letreros en the internet que en cafetería ponen, no tenemos Wi-Fi, aquí se platica. <laughs> yeah, like that. It's good. Like yeah. that. I have, I have a Wi-Fi, but... Uh, the thing is that you have to, to speak with the with the person, not okay. use it oh, yourself. Yes. yes, it's true. I under oh nice. Saturday, Saturday I had a reunion in my house. And um my wife, some friends of my wife, they came. Nope. The complete night. They were in their cell phones. I really, really, you know? I hated that. Really, no. man, you can't do that. We were in a normal table, having some tequilas, talking, eating, and they were like this. Huh? See, si. everybody. <laughs> I I hate that. Um, pero yo lo hice bien obvio. Yo me paré, bueno. Gracias, pasen buenas noches, like at, uh, como las nueve y media, ya se va. Yes. Good night, and me fui. It, it was very, very stupid. It was very disrespectful. Yeah, that's true. Y saben quién quedó mal? Yo, porque después le dieron a mi esposa, hey, tu esposo es bien enojado. Y digo a mi esposa, por Dios, esa fue la conclusión de ellas. <laughs> o sea, yo fui el mal educado. Yeah. So I understand you, Guzman. Okay, yeah. number four. You should challenge people who talk loudly on cell phones. It's okay to talk on the phone while driving a car. You can use a say, uh, cell phone in public if you speak quietly. And yes. Yes. Don't shout in the phone. Yes. Don't stand close to other people when you're using a cell phone. These are opinions. I said, you know, forget this. There's no correct answer here. These are opinions, okay? Teacher, no. excuse yes. me, in, in this exercise, uh, it doesn't matter if the incorrect answers. Uh, you, okay, look, these are the correct answers. I'm going to give them to you. But really, I think it's because they say, look, check the statements the writer would probably agree with, probably. De acuerdo a lo que escribió el, el escritor, la redundancia, probablemente con cuál estuviera de acuerdo a todos estos. Entonces siento que es bien ridículo. Porque tenía que haber sido, entonces con cuál está de acuerdo. Pero probably is a possibility. Pueden ser todos, but if you want the correct answer, the platforms son yes. estas. The last one. Three, six, seven, and eight. Yes. <clears throat> All right, let's listen to a conversation. Listen to two phone conversations, check with information. So tell me where to check. I don't hear. I'm teacher, I don't. I 
I can't hear. Sorry. Listen to two telephone conversations. Can you hear now? Check the correct information. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. One. Thank you. Hello? Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at 6. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. West invitation was for what? Uh, Mitch party. Mitch party. Thank you. What's excuse? He starts work at 6 p.m. Yes, at 6 p.m. Good. Rita. Dance performance. Dance performance. Excellent. Rita, the next. Uh, she, she needs makes to study for a test. Ethics. She needs to study for a test. Excellent. Put the words in the correct order to make sentences. What do you blank plan do tonight? Plan to do. Plan to do. I home there is a soccer match on TV. Want to stay. Want to stay. I want to stay home, right? What are your, I'm sorry, what are you and Dave tomorrow? Go. Going to do. Going to do tomorrow. We barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. Would like to have. We would like to, right? Yes, we would like to. ¿Se acuerdan? No se acuerdan. Okay. What do you, after graduation? It's very difficult. Tengo 18 personas y nadie habla. Ya no hablo yo. Solo voy a seguir. What do you hope to do after graduation? Hope to do. Okay, what do you hope to do? Very good. What do you hope to do after graduation? B, I blank love travel in Europe for a while. I would love to travel in Europe for a while. Thank you. 
¿Y qué, qué significa I would love to? Miriam. Uh, I would, ah, me gustaría. Yeah, or, very good. Uh -huh, me gustaría viajar. Me gustaría, I me encantaría. Go. Very good. Remember, it says would. So let's submit. Falta, teacher. Oh, travel. Thank travel. you. Travel. Oops. I would love to travel. All right, we got that one right. Circle the correct word. There are lots of beautiful trees in this. Forest. 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 Do you know what is a forest? Mm -hmm. Bosque. 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 Yes. Bosque. I like when you go to Ataco or when you go to Isalco and everything, like you drive for one hour maybe you see green yes it's beautiful you see a lot of forest okay number two it says a ah, blank is very hot and dry place river it's desert. very desert. hot and dry place desert desert, desert. desert. Mm -hmm. y si solo fuera una S, ¿qué sería? desert juan carlos rodriguez Si le quitamos una S a Desert. Postre. Postre. Special for you, that question. A blank is always higher than a valley. Mountain. 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 Okay, listen, instructions, choose the correct word on the phrase. Please, Mary, there's a school party on Sunday. Please tell Mary. Tell. Please tell Mary, okay, good. Would you ask Bill the concert tickets tonight? Would you ask to bring? To bring, to bring. very good. Could you blank Dana? that the movie starts at 8.15. Awesome. Yes, all right. Okay, next it says complete the sentences, complete. Okay, what blank you like to eat? The fried chicken? Please. What wool? What wool do you like to eat? Yeah. Jose Carlos, this is good for you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is good. This is good vocabulary for you. And for yes, Guzman, please. too. What would you like to eat? What kind of potatoes would you like? Have mashed potatoes. I will. I will or the contraction, I'll. 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 But remember, this is like this, like. Wait, let me see, do you see me? Hmm. <clears throat> I'll have the mashed potatoes, please. Okay. Anything to drink? Yes, please. Oh, I'll, I'll. I would. I'll too. The two are correct, to be honest. With you. I'll like some water, please. Anything else? No. That will. Will be all. That will be all. Teacher. Yes. 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 How do you say when you use contraction? How do you pronounce it? Contraction. I don't know. Will uh, or uh, will will I or I'll. I'll. 
Ella, Ella. Ayo. Ayla. Oh, okay. Ayla. Yes, pero más rápido. Ayo. Ayo. Yes. Yeah, good question. Which city is Buenos Aires or Lima? Which, which city is more colder? Oh. Is Disney World amusement park in the world? Disney World must be the, the most, most famous. The most famous. Famous, right? <laughs> what is Blank River in the world? The Amazon, Danube, or the Nile? Longest. The longest. The longest. longest. The longest. Oops. But in this case, this a uh, comparative. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Word. For me, this this question is not correct. Porque para empezar, you already said the world. Entonces, ¿por qué decimos the Amazon, the Den or the Nile? So, yeah. Esta puede ser más simplemente así. De, which is the longest river in the world? For the contractions, I don't know, but oh uh, man, you can say that will be all. Oh man, I hate this platform. I have a question about the four, the number four, because uh, is correct, will, would be all. I would say will, yo lo diría will, that will be all, thank you. Yeah, me too, I, 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 yes. I, yo había puesto eso, uh -huh. pero yes. no me, me da error, but, uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, but it's, that, that will be all. Teacher, igual otra cosa. No sé, yo creo yes. que ahora sí pueden escucharme bien. En la siguiente parte, sí, 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 esa es. Justo ahí yo estaba poniendo y creo que, o sea, en esa parte la tengo mala porque no sé. Según yo estaba bien, pero no sé en qué me he equivocado. Bueno, ahorita vamos a ver. Pero igual, no sé. Ok. The test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please tell Ken <clears throat> that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. This would be the correct. Number two, meet me after class today. Would you ask Alex? Alex to meet me after class, after class. Today. So let me see. Will you ask Alex to meet me after class today? There's a volleyball game tonight. Could you tell? Marcus, there's a volleyball. Uh, a volleyball, volleyball game tonight.
Marcus. Come to the picnic on Sunday. Please ask. Paula to come. Paula to come to the picnic on Saturday. And it's funny because they are all wrong. Why is this wrong? Can you get the first one? What did you get wrong here, Cesar? I don't know, but is the 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 question mark? I guess that is that. Yeah, maybe the question mark or the period. But everything cool now. Everything okay now? Okay, yeah, let's go next. Read yeah. the article. Uh, the, okay, the I, have, I, I got it. Okay, cool, good. The Big Island. Listen, everyone knows that Hawaii is a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the biggest island in the state? Yes, it's confusing. So most people call the island of Hawaii the big island. The weather on the big island is very interesting. It has 10 of 15 kinds of climates in the world, including tropical desert, mountain, and alpine. Sometimes it even gets snow on top of its two biggest volcanoes. On the west side of the island, the weather is sunny. Kailua Kona is almost perfect. It gets up to about 80 Fahrenheit in the winter and 87 in the summer. It goes down to 64 Fahrenheit in the winter and 69 in the summer. The koala area is the north of the driest part of the island with only about 10 inches of rain a year. On the east side, Hilo gets around 140 inches of rain per year. It's the wettest city in the United States. All the rain makes for some amazing waterfalls near Hilo. Water temperature are coldest in February and warmest in September and October. There is good snorkeling, great scuba diving and wonderful fishing year round that makes Big Island polar with people from all over the world any time of the year. What is Hawaii? Is it a city, a state, an island, or a state and an island? The last one. Uh, a state and an island. It is yes. an island. What climate is not found in Hawaii? Arctic. Arctic. Yes, Arctic. Arctic. How does it get in Kalua Kona in the winter? 80. 80. 
Where does it rain the most? In the east. 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 Uh, in the east. Let's see. Awesome. Finish, finish. Bye bye. <laughs> and we finished. So we finished. All right, good. All right, class, bye. No, my dears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, so um, what we learned here, remember we learned, what did we learn in, in this lessons, in this month? Mm, the use of will and will. Okay, we use will. What else did we, what else did we learn? Superlative and comparative. Very good, yes. What else did the we learn? Present continue. Okay, let's do one thing. So, wood. In this moment, we're going to practice wood. We did would, will, comparative superlatives. Okay, let's go back to wood. When do we use wood? Do you remember, Aida? Does the class remember when do we use wood? Wood, mm, when, uh, for example, when I, 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 eh, I um, cuando quiero eh, expresar lo que me gustaría hacer. Okay, good. So wood is here, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so wood is here. When Can... wood, like, when we would like a, a verb in idea, right? Mm -hmm. And a verb in ria. <laughs> Yeah, in Spanish, it would be the version of Ia. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you? All right. So, Miriam, can you please ask somebody a question with wood? Okay. 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 Cesar Adonai. No, no, no. Sí. Yes, Cesar Adonai. Tell me, tell me. Uh, I'm here. Okay, okay. Would you like to study uh, in Canada? Um, no, I, I wouldn't. I I would like uh, living in Canada. Okay, good. Yeah, but study. I would like to study in in, for example, in Italia or in Finland. I would like to live in Finland. Ah, it's it's a beautiful place, but yes. I I um I prefer Canada to, uh, because I I said in in, in some class right mm -hmm. that Canada I prefer Canada because it's very friendly with the migrants. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, I don't know. Yes. Uh, yeah. But do you know why Canada? You know why Canada is very friendly. What? Do you know why Canada is very friendly? Yeah, I I'm uh, read it that in 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 some. Yeah, because uh, Canada Canada is very very big. Yeah. And it doesn't have a big population of people. And it's now, yeah, yeah. And now they need people. <laughs> Yeah, in, in some places, the the people uh, that is from Canada is less than the people uh, that is immigrant, right? Natives, so, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yes, very good. But very it's good. difficult to apply uh, for to live in Canada. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would like to live in Canada. Yeah, I would like to live in, in I don't know, Bulgaria or, or Finland or... Or Dubai? No, not Dubai. It's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I would never like to I'm live in Dubai because the reason why I would like to live in Finland is because it's an agnostic country. It's agnostica. Like Bulgaria. And now Dubai, no. Dubai is a very religious country. So, and I don't like religions. So I, I would like to go to a country where they don't implement religion to you or in school or anything. Okay. Yeah, but I would like to visit Dubai, yes. Mm. Yeah. All right, Cesar, your turn. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Um, for Jose Arturo, would you like to travel and the next year yeah or or you can like. say or you can say where would you like to travel yeah ah yeah 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 would uh, where do you where would you like to travel the next year um i would like to travel to peru okay mm. next year good place <laughs> i would like to meet in machu picchu yeah i would like to know me, I would like no, to know. I would like to know. Machu yes. Picchu. Yeah, Cusco. Yeah, I would like to. It's an incredible, amazing place, right? Because yes. it's incredible that the, the I food. I would love to visit Asia. Yeah, me a too. Any country in Asia. White teacher. Yeah, good question. Because everything is different. Like, for example, I would like to go to Peru because I would like to see Machu Picchu. But really, Peru and El Salvador or Peru, well, it's in America. So okay. we speak the same language. You know, the same language. Maybe same, like the religions. There's a lot of similarities, right? Bastantes, right? Mm -hmm. But imagine if you go to Japan. Oh. I don't know anything in, or China. I don't know Chinese. I can imagine myself in a, in a hotel, desde el elevador, it's like, because everything is in Chinese. It's like, everything is new. <laughs> it's a good challenge everything. for you. Yeah, because everything is new. And I can imagine going outside of the hotel and, and you see all the signs and like, I don't know, man, I just walk. Everything, even the face are different. Like, yeah. So, uh, so I, I imagine that every day, every second, every minute is a new experience. I feel like that teacher, when, when we receive the first unit that we both are in, from South Korea and everything in the band, um uh, is just in Korea, right? What is the language? But Korean. we don't understand something about that vehicle. And, and because the all the instruction, the manual, everything was in Korea. Oh what, when you said unit, you mean a car? Yeah, I mean a, a van. It oh. is for 12 or 11 person. We were still that unit, that vehicle. Uh, um, here on uh, Kahutla, 
they transfer mm -hmm. using a a boat. Um, yeah, a boat, a big box, and we receive the the vehicle on on like a hutla and and then we travel with that. We drive for Nacajutla to Lanzauto Navarra to pay the taxes. Oh, okay. But we were driving and everything is in Korea. Yeah, I imagine. Exactly. And you, you don't know if they're angry or not because imagine you, you, you're talking. They go, ta, 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 ta. So, man, están contento, me están regañando, me están aconsejando. <laughs> you don't know. So, it must are, be a, when we are trying to buy, when we are trying to buy that car, um, we're talking with a person from Korea, but they speak Spanish. Oh, really? Yeah. Do they speak very know, good Spanish? They speak, yeah, they speak good Spanish. Perfect so, Spanish? Uh, I think that not perfect, but they understand and they speak. Oh, good. Saben, es que le iba a preguntar porque yo nunca he conocido a alguien que el español no es su idioma nativo, que lo han aprendido y que lo hable perfectamente. He conocido gente que, por ejemplo, de aquí, que han aprendido inglés y lo hablan mejor que el español, pero nunca he conocido a alguien que ha estudiado español y lo habla perfectamente. Porque el español es difícil, es difícil, man. Es muy difícil. Es difícil de entender en español. Yeah. yeah. Como lo que le dije que a veces, imagínense un verbo, the verb eat. Eat. Yeah. Imagine, imagine I am a gringo. Eat. Comer. Ok, comer, comer. Eat es comer. Ok. I eat, you eat, we eat, they eat. Oh, ok. Si yo fuera gringo, ok, comer. Entonces yo, yo comer, tú comer, él comer. Nosotros comer. No. Si es yo, es como. Si es él, es come. Si es nosotros, es comemos. Si es ellos, es comen. What? <laughs> Ajá, por decir, why? I don't know Spanish. American needs a, a, a lot of words in, in a only verb, right? Yes. Ajá. O sea, y, y siempre preguntan eso. O sea, ¿qué es yo como? No puedo decir él como o nosotros como, ¿no? Como solo por yo. Entonces, ¿por qué digo yo? Y buena pregunta, no sé. <ríe> Así es el español, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yo, um, me, okay. yo me miré a mí mismo y me dije. <ríe> yeah. yeah I, I would like to travel to Asia too, but specifically to Japan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's a beautiful place, but I, I would like to visit in academic uh, travel because in seismology are very advanced. Oh, yeah. You might, well, for your career, yes, it's true. Yeah. That's good. very interesting that. Interesting. Nice. Yeah. All right. So uh, who is next? Oh, Jose Arturo, you Sorry, ask please. somebody, please. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ask Jennifer Rivas, Flores? please. Oh, Jennifer Rivas. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah. You see? She's not connected. Hi. Oh, my no, I'm God. Here. I'm oh. here. Bueno, okay. mira, aunque sea el penúltimo día de la clase, la conocí. <laughs> no, todos los días he estado acá en clase. <laughs> Solo que no mucho me gusta encender la cámara. Okay. Um, what would you like to learn the next month? The next month, I would like to to learn um, French. Oh, yeah, very good. I was going to ask you that. So after English, what would you like to learn? French. French, wow. Nice. Parlez-vous Francois? Je m'appelle, comment allez-vous? And that's all I know. I don't know French. <laughs> I don't know French. <laughs> Okay, thank you. All right, very good. Jennifer, ask somebody, please. You can ask me, ask anybody you want. Um, Claudia Alfaro. Hi. 
All right. What do you like to travel the next year? What or where? Where? Where will you like to travel next year? Uh, no, I don't not travel <coughs> next year. No, but she didn't she didn't say will you travel next year? She said where would you like to travel next year? Claudia, do you understand what is would? Uh? Do you understand what is would? Would. Um, es que no lo entiendo. Se está trabando. Class, me oyen bien todos. Yes. Okay, yes. Claudia, maybe, maybe it's yes. your internet. Porque todos aparentemente me oyen bien. Lizette Flores, let me see your shirt. Hi. Hi, let me see your Hi. shirt. Huh? <laughs> let, let me see your shirt. Déjame ver su camisa. Hey. Nice. Yeah, remember she she said that she worked. She's a volunteer in the green in the Green Cross, right? Yes. In Santa Anita. Yes. Are are you yes. there? Are you there in this moment? Yes, I'm here. Wow. Y eso es voluntario de verdad. Usted lo hace de, de voluntad. From will, I see as will voluntary. Will. Will is voluntary. Yes. So, un ejemplo, verdad que usted no le pagan por eso, verdad? Entonces, Lisette puede decir, I do this from my will. I do it from my will. O sea, lo hago de mi voluntad. Por eso es que aquel día les expliqué la diferencia de going to y will. ¿Se acuerdan que will es voluntario? Entonces, si ella lo hace de su voluntad, ella se compromete con eso. Good for you, Lisette. Thank you. We're nice. You're a good person. <laughs> Harrison. Hmm. Man, Harrison. Ay, Harrison, Harrison, Harrison. No. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, yesterday the internet was bad. I can't hear, but it's okay. It's okay. You have one more day, Harrison. One more day. You need to ask her. <laughs> okay, class, tomorrow, mañana lo voy a separar en grupos y vamos a practicar will, uh, comparative, superlatives, y, y futures para. Nice. Futures de lo que hemos estado haciendo de I am going to I'm the going beach to. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Okay. Okay, then thank you very much. Have a very good night. Good night, teacher. All right. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.